What is up everybody? This is Eric the one and only Barrett Collector and today I am doing my August 2022 video game haul. And like always I like to start with my digital downloads but this time around I only bought some PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games. The first one being Spelunky 2. Um, this one is like a platformer puzzle action platformer. Um, it's based off some old school games from like the Amiga. So um, this one went on sale because this one was never really on sale for a while. And I have part one and part one was really cheap. But then part two was more expensive and I got this one. The next one that I got was Bloody Zombies, which is um, uh, action beat em up um, based upon like a post-apocalyptic um, time where there's like zombies everywhere. And it's a beat em up a la, um, a la Double Dragon style um, game. And then finally... I got the game Six Soul. Uh, let me see my finger right there. Six Souls. Um, that one's an action platformer. Um, it's kind of very similar to um, kind of like a rogue action platformer, I believe. Um, but anyways, those games were on sale, and I picked those up. So yeah, those are my those were my um, my digital downloads of the month. So let me take you so we can get started with the physical stuff. Let me go over here to the table. And then I can show you guys what I'm about to buy. Or what I bought. Sorry, you know what I'm about to buy. Anyways, let me fix the camera up a little bit. Ah, there we go. And there goes the gang right here. All right, let's get started. Um, first game I got at the beginning of the month. But this one actually, um, I bought it last month. But it, it arrived after I did my last video game haul, and it was um, Pocky and Rocky Reshrined for the um, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this one is an action um, shooter plat. No, it's not a platformer. Maybe, but it's more like a shooter style action game. It's based upon the um, the very rare SNES game um, Pocky and Rocky. So they remake the game. So yeah, so this one, I remember I used to own the original many years ago, but I'm not really familiar to to the style of it. But yeah, got this one. Definitely, I wanted a part of my collection so I could replay because I can't really remember off the SNES and it was going for a good price. So I got that one. Now, um, for, I believe this was going to go on for the month of August. Um, GameStop had a deal that you can buy games for four for twenty, and I took advantage of that deal a couple of times. Um, but this first time, the first round when I found out about it, I got four games. The first one being God Eater um, Two Rage Burst for the PlayStation Four. Um, unfortunately, no instructions. Um, this one is, I believe, is an action RPG. Um, I'm not familiar with the God Eater series. I know it's a series. I have one for. I want to say I got it for the Vita, um, the first one, the and then part two. Um, I believe it also came out for the Vita, but um, I got the one for the PS4, so got that one. The next one was a um, kind of like a clue style game of Who Done It, um, Hidden Agenda for the PS4. This one I believe did have the instructions. No, but oh, that's pretty cool right here. And yeah, Hidden Agenda. Um, this is like a. Um, uh, detective story and, and then you get I guess you get to choose the path um, of how you go I believe um, yeah you get clues and everything so yeah pretty interesting who done it um, first person um, point and click adventure game I feel like that's what it is and then the next one I got Dragon Ball's um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse um, for the Xbox one um, and then I also got Dragon Ball Cinnaverse 2. Um, both of these, I believe I want to say they are action. Gosh, I think they're action beat em up or fighting games, um, adventure games, um, which is their own story. Cinnaverse 1, 1 and 2 are their own storyline, not, uh, not based upon any any story from Dragon Ball, but it's its own story and it's like interesting. I don't know what that can read off um because i need to focus focus does it say there wow some included didn't include that though yeah season pass and all that and no, i didn't get that anyways that's what it was um for that first time i went to gamestop then the second time i went to um well not the second time sorry the only time i went to my local thrift store 
I picked up Ratchet and Clank a Kraken Ratchet and Clank Future a Kraken Time for the PS3. And you know, doesn't unfortunately didn't have the instructions. But um Ratchet and Clank is Clank is a really fun um series. I'm playing the one, the very first one on the PS4. Um, but I haven't um um hit it off yet like i played it for a while but i haven't kept up with it and then also went to the flea market this month and i picked up some pretty cool stuff first one for a dollar i picked up the da vinci code for the xbox and it came complete with the instructions and yeah this was a game i guess this is also like a action like adventure game based on the movie i don't hear i don't know if there's any good things or not heard about this game but I've always I've been curious about this one for a long time. I, I really like the movies, the Da Vinci Code. Um, then the next thing I picked up for the Nintendo 64, oddly enough, um, Bass Hunter 64. Um, got it complete with the instructions in this pretty cool case. I never knew they had these cases. Um, well, I did know that's in really good shape. Um, I, I didn't. Well, I didn't know they had them. Obviously, they have to have them to rent the games. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that it came in a cool little Nintendo 64 case. And then that day, I bought three Game Boy games. First one, Buster Move DS. I already had this one, um, and I picked it up. It was only a couple of bucks. God, I'm having a hard time focusing. Let me see if this will help out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Buster Move DS. And then I picked up... Um, then I picked up, oh, this one was a good find, and I got it for a really decent price. Um, Kirby Superstar Ultra. I used to own this one, and this one is really cool. I'm glad I got this one. This one, I'm trying to collect as many Kirby games as I can. So, yeah. And then finally, um, this game, I remember looking for it, um, but um, I guess I picked it up coincidentally for a really good price, Deep Labyrinth. Um, for the DS. This is like a first person dungeon um, game. Oh, and I forgot to talk about these. Um, Kirby Superstar Ultra is a remake of the SNES game Super Kirby Superstar. Bunch of little mini Kirby games in one. Really fun game um, to get. Very expensive game to own for the SNES. And then Bust the Move DS, that's the one. Those are those games based where you have bubbles at the top of the screen. You have bubbles. And then you shoot with a little um, arrow. You shoot the bubble of the corresponding color to pop everything in the screen. Really fun puzzle game. And of course, Bass Hunter 64 is a fishing game. Um, yeah, I never played that one. But yeah, anyways, moving right along. Um, one day that I went to GameStop um, with my kid, I didn't get anything. But however, they had a bunch of these games for free. They were actually giving them away for free. And I picked it up, NBA 2K14. And I believe it's complete. Yeah, it's complete. <laughs> and I got it for free. It didn't cost me anything. They were just giving them out. I'm like, okay, should have grabbed more. But then going back to the um, GameStop now... This one is an interesting story. Um, so I did an order online for GameStop. I went to several stores throughout the month to take advantage of that two for 20 deal. And I wanted to get a lot of items. However, um, it was just really, really, um, it was just really difficult to get the games that I wanted because either I already had them or they didn't have the games that are the cooler games that I wanted. It was always those shovelware or these like NBA 2K14, you know, um, sports games that were available. But um, one that I picked up, the first one I picked up, I bought it. It was three bucks. Um, Fade to Silence for the Xbox One. Um, this particular one is considered to be a, a horror adventure game. Um, that the story really caught my, my eye. Um, I guess he's like a lone survivor. And so he's trying to figure out what's going on. I, I may be wrong on the story. I know that when I looked, researched it and I have, I forgot already, um, it, it, it appealed to me. The next one I got, I already purchased this one many, like probably about a year ago or a while back. I really wanted to buy this one, but it was going more expensive at the time. But I own it digitally um, for the Switch, but now I got it for the PS4. It's Trover Saves the Universe. I know it's a PSR game, but it's a, um, I mean, a, P, a PSVR game, but it's not. You can either choose to play it or not. So I really wanted the, um, the physical version of it. So I got it. Um, it's from the people um, from Rick and Morty. 
Um, another RPG that I've been keep, um, eyeballing it for a long time was Sword Art Online Lost, Lost Song. Um, I picked it up. Unfortunately, they didn't give me... That's the thing I hate buying online. Um, that they didn't give me... They don't give me the actual cases or you can't see them. Because a lot of the games that were out there in the wild, they have their cases. They had everything, but it's just in the bins. And then the other game I got... Um, Knack 2. I have part 1 and the sequel was going for for cheaper. So, yeah, Knack 2, I, I got both of them. Um they're actually like a like um platform advent 3D platform adventure games. Um but yeah, um one that I was looking for for a, for a while and then finally now this is the one that um I ordered originally um Life is Strange Part 2. For the Xbox One, it was going on sale as part of this 4420. Um, I ordered it, I received it, but then <laughs> the bastards at GameStop they they sent me Life is Strange before the storm, so they put the wrong game in the case. Um, I really got upset. I'm like, what the hell, you know? And I already have that one, so I went to one of my local GameStops, not here where I live, but um, near where my parents live last that i went last week and, and and i took all the games and i said listen they gave me this game and you know do you have part two because i would like to have it and then then they're like no we don't have it so i went and looked around the bins um there was another game i forgot the game that i wanted to get um for the deal i think it was called the lost planet and then the other one that was a runner-up for those was that other one it was astroneer for the um ps4 um, this one seems interesting, so I really um, grabbed this one in instead because it didn't have Life is Strange 2. And it's basically like an explorer. You explore planets and you colonize them and you research the planet to see for life or whatever that's there. There is an ending to the game from what I read about this. It's not just building and, and, and exploration, so there's more to it. There's like a little story behind it, but this one caught my eye, so basically... That, those were my games for um, August of 2022. There is one thing I picked up. Now, I already did a video of this, which is the reason why this is not in a package. Um, but because I already did the video and this video is probably going to come out next week after this one. But I will be talking about this bad boy right here. Yeah, it's a robot, a transformer. Well, not transformer. But about this guy. So what is this? And um, what is this combiner? This wannabe devastator um, knockoff combiner. What is this all about? Well, you guys stay tuned next week. I'm probably going to um, release that video next week. And, and just to give you guys a um, recap, a little update. I already got a bunch of videos ready. I have my GoBots Part 2 video ready. I'm getting ready to do Part 3. Um, uh, this took priority to, to show you guys this one to do this video because I wanted to take them out of the package. Um, when you see the video, you'll see why um, I, I did this. So it's kind of like a, it's weird because I recorded it before this video that you're watching right now. But it, it's a video I'm going to be releasing probably after this one. Um, either that one or the GoBots Part 2. I, I feel like releasing this one because this is an interesting this this one I'm almost knocked it out. It's a very interesting um, thing. So yeah. So anyways, this has been my my August 22 video game haul, along with a little bit of an update. Got a bunch of um, games coming up in the pipeworks that I already reviewed. That are going to be ready to um, show off uh, amongst new stuff that I'm going to be making. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching. This has been Eric the Bear Collector. You guys take care. Peace out.